Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready to learn something new about volcanoes and geology, in this case about the largest lava field in the world that was produced by one eruption. The lava field in question is named Thjórsárhraun and is the single largest lava field produced on the planet in the last 10,000 years and the crazy thing is that it was produced by a single eruption. This monumental event took place around 8,700 years ago on Iceland's highlands. Some few of you might recognize this area as it produces the most hectic eruptions in Iceland and even the world. The systems that rule this area are Grimsvötn, Katla, Torrvjökull and the ruler is Bárðarbunga. And that is of course the system that produced the Thjórsárhraun eruption. It's really hard to imagine what this kind of an eruption would have looked like. But let's check out some of its stats. The Thjórsárhraun lava field covers a whopping 974 square kilometers, which is almost 1% of Iceland, and its volume is an astounding 26 cubic kilometers. It's clear that the power of the eruption was no joke, as the lava traveled some mind-blowing distances with the edges farthest from the eruption site being 130 kilometers away and it was the ocean that stopped it from going much further. Just try to think about the true power of this eruption by looking at the area covered by lava so far away from the eruption site. Truly mind-blowing. The name Thjórsárhraun comes from a river called Thjórsá that the lava flowed over and redirected. It also changed Ölfusás estuary, so it's clear that this eruption wanted some changes to be made in this area. The lava itself is also a little bit artistic, since it contains a mineral known as plagioclase, which is rare, but it leaves behind small crystals in the lava, which gives it a distinct look. The reason for these minerals being in the lava is because when the magma was migrating towards the surface, it went through a section in the Earth's crust where these minerals were hiding, and gave them a ride to the surface. To get another grasp of this eruption's power, we can imagine the lava strokes that stood up from the eruption site. By comparing it with other recent mega-eruptions like Skaftáreldar, we can get an idea how tall they got. When Skaftáreldar erupted back in 1783-84, to 84, Iceland was settled, meaning people could observe it. The strokes from that eruption reached heights of over 1,000 meters, or 3,280 feet, which means that the strokes in the Thjórsárhraun could have reached double that, with the largest ones possibly reaching 2,000 meters, or 6,561 feet, which would have reached higher than Iceland's highest peak. That is just crazy. We have no way of measuring the real power of this eruption, but again, by comparing it to the well-documented Skaftar Eldar, which had an average lava output of 723 cubic meters per second, we can estimate that the average output in Thjórsarhraun was over 1000 cubic meters per second. Most of Thjórsarhraun's eruption site is now covered by younger lava fields, while the part that is not on the highlands is almost fully intact. This just goes to show how active this part of Iceland really is. There is also a few hundred meter section of the lava field that is now covered by sea as the sea levels were 50 meters lower back then. It's pretty obvious that this eruption is like no other, and a very rare occurrence too. One of the main causes for this eruption's size and power is the time it took place in. With the ice age out of the window, the glaciers were retreating rapidly, which lifted a lot of weight off the Earth's crust. That meant the crust lifted fast and expanded after being compressed by the glaciers, which weakened it a lot, making it much easier for magma to reach the surface. That combined with the sheer power of the Bárðarbunga system, this eruption could go ham, and so it did. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.